Can studying economics make you rich? Well, I think by itself, probably not, is tell you ways to avoid getting poor. In economics, it really is just that. It's just basically applied moral philosophy, trying to understand how society is put together. Broadly speaking, there are two big goals of economic policy. Policymakers care about making sure the economic pie is big, and they also care about making sure that everybody has an adequate slice. We need some mechanism in the market economies to help people who are struggling, people help people at the bottom of the economic ladder. We want to help people at the bottom, but we really can't achieve perfect equality. And what we, one thing we've, we've learned throughout history is that free markets and free people will lead to greater economic prosperity than an economy of heavy state control. But even markets can fail. Markets can sometimes lead to undesirable outcomes. Now, when I teach basic theory of the overall economy, I emphasize aggregate demand and aggregate supply. And by that, I mean that it's not the case that only Keynesian ideas are relevant or only supply side ideas are relevant. It's both. It's supply and demand, not supply or demand. One of the big questions in economics is what can the markets do on their own? And when does the government need to intervene? The first thing to say is that markets exist only with government. I am Greg Mankiw.